On this video we're going to add a nice camera shake so we give the player a better feeling of the explosions, as well as a red flash for when the ship gets hit. So let's go ahead and add a camera to the node. Let's place it up here and rename it camera. I'm going to set the angle mode to fix top left and enable current so it actually works. Let's add a script and save it in the scripts folder as camera.ed. Hit create. I'll remove the comments and let's declare two variables. One name magnitude equals to zero, which specifies how strong the shaking is. And another one name, time left, equal to zero, to keep track of the remaining time since the shaking started. I'm going to create a function named shake with two parameters, new magnitude and lifetime. So every time we want to do a shake, we can specify how strong it will be and how much it will last. Let's set magnitude equal to new magnitude and time left equal to lifetime. Then we'll create a while loop that will last as long as time left is bigger than zero. So in here, we're going to decrease time left by delta, which we can get by saying get process delta time. And then we'll yield or wait onto the next frame which we can do by yielding onto the scene tree emits the signal idle frame. To make the shaking, I'm going to create a post variable equal to a vector2. Then set post x equal to random number from minus magnitude to magnitude. And the same for post that y. And then we'll set the camera's position to the post variable. At the end of the function, after the loop, we will want to set the camera's position back to 0, 0. Now, since this function can be called several times to prevent getting into the loop more than once at the same time, let's create a variable name is shaking equals to false. And here, I will ask if it's shaking. And if it's so, we'll return. Otherwise, we're going to set is shaking to true, get into the loop and after that, set is shaking back to force. And since I have placed the condition here, when calling the shake function, even if it's shaking, we can still change the magnitude and the time left. But I just want that to happen if the magnitude of the new shake is bigger than the one going on. So the shake of an explosion will override a shake of a laser colliding, but not the other way around which makes sense. So up here I will ask if magnitude is bigger than new magnitude. And if it's so, we are returned. And at the end, after the loop, we're going to set magnitude equals to zero because the camera is not shaking anymore. And this is all we need for the shaking. Let's go to the letter ship script. And when it hits an enemy, we're going to call the shake function from the camera. But instead of looking for the node, then shake it if we found it. And then calling the function. We're going to use the util script, which has a function name remote call that will do all of that for us. So we'll say util that remote call. As the source node pass camera, the method will be shake. The first argument is the magnitude, which I'll set to 1 and the lifetime to 0.13 seconds. I'll copy this. Open up the laser enemy script, and when hitting the ship, we will do a shake with a magnitude of 3. Let's open up the explosion script, and when explosion is created, we're going to make the camera shake with a magnitude of 8 for 0.2 seconds. Let's run the game to see what we have. And when hitting an enemy, the camera shakes, as well as when there is an explosion, and also when an enemy hits the ship. Let's now take care of the red flash. So let's create a new scene. 
add in a sprite node. Rename it Flash and save it in the Tins folder as flash.tscn. For the texture, I'm going to assign the rectangle sprite. Disable centered, scale it so it is a little bigger than the size of the screen. Set modulate to red and the Z value set it to 15 so it gets drawn on top of everything else. We need the flash to fade out so let's merge the anim node from the first scene because it already has a fade out animation. Make the sub resources unique. And I'll set the length to 0 0.3 seconds and place the last key at 0 0.3. Make sure to place it back and close this panel. Let's add a new script. Save it in the scripts folder as flash.gd. Hit create. I remove the comments. And in here, from the anim node, we want to play the fade out animation. Then wait until it has finished. And after that, destroy this node. And this is all for the flash scene. Let's open up the ship script. And let's preload the flash scene into a constant named SCM flash. And on the set armor function, we're going to ask if the new value is less than armor, meaning that it has decreased. And if that's so, on the main node, we're going to add as a child an instance of the flash scene. Let's try it out. And there we have it. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. As always, thanks to all my patrons, and I will see you on the next video.